Welcome everybody to tonight's uh, virtual webinar. We're doing this one on a live stream, so we'll give it a, a few minutes for folks to join in as you get connected via Facebook, via YouTube, or via Twitter as well. So it's a live stream across all three platforms. Um, so it's not a Zoom meeting. Uh, we're going to go through uh, a number of different things tonight related to uh, September, October, and November, specifically around the nomination process. So we'll take you through that um, little by little. Um, so let's give it just another minute or two, as I know people are still uh, joining in. Um, awesome. My name is Jamie Sparks, and I serve as Kentucky Shapes Executive Director. We're going to start over on our website uh, for tonight's uh, broadcast, and we'll take you through everything around the three nominations. So uh, most recently uh, with uh, our newsletter, uh, we had uh, it's all, all of our current newsletters is, are always going to be found on the website underneath updates. So anytime you get a newsletter, and you're looking back through your emails, it's always going to be underneath uh, updates. So we, we've sent this one out twice. And so our deadline is coming up October 1st. All things we're talking about tonight, deadline of October 1st. Board nominations, Kentucky Shape Annual Awards, and then ultimately our Teacher of the Year process as well. So we're going to walk through each of those individually. So uh, to find the quickest links, uh, no, there's two places, uh, the, 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 the last two updates. So here, one of the updates, uh, you will see here, September 22nd, events reminders. And then underneath that, uh, you scroll down and you'll find the link, uh, the webinar for tonight, but also the direct links into the teacher of the year, the annual awards and the board of directors. We're going to go through these one by one, but just so you see where they're at. All awards back on the previous newsletter, the one right below that, was the save the date for our fall events. So our fall event is going to be November 13th through the 14th in Berea. Registration will launch October 1st uh, for that event. Uh, this year's event is very different than previous fall events. Sunday will have a three-hour teacher PD workshop. Awards will take place Sunday afternoon, so all the awards all the nominations that we're talking about tonight and all the teachers of the year will be awarded on Sunday, November 13th. The 14th, Monday, will focus on higher ed and future professionals only. So they're not going to be teacher breakouts. So that is a move that we've continued to, to shift our focus. Teacher conference is going to be summer. So the last two summers, we've done teacher-focused professional development in the summer. And then fall event is going to be starting to focus more on future professionals and higher education. So that's what we're doing this year. So just note that other than the Sunday workshop that will take place, uh, the rest of that is pretty much higher ed future uh, prof professional focused. All right. So let's go through uh, those three um, things we talked about. There's a couple different places. You can Again, you can go to the links and find them underneath updates, but I'm going to show you how to get to them directly from the website as well. So if you go to board, we're going to start with the board nomination. So we got a lot of people interested. Uh, the, the Kentucky Shape Board, if you click on the very top, click board, our current executive committee, the executive committee for Kentucky Shape, as uh, done in our bylaws, uh, always consists of the executive director. I serve as a non-voting member of the board and then a president-elect, president, and past president. So there is our current executive committee. A uh, past president is Robin Richardson out of uh, Jefferson County. Uh, she was our pandemic president, so she got the bonus year there as well as being president. Uh, our current president uh, to the right, Gavin Washington, he is now with Midway University. And then our president-elect, our incoming, and this will shift in November, is LaDonda Porter from Fayette County. So hardworking executive committee. Uh, those are the, we, so we do have nominations open. Uh, that executive committee is always a three-year term. All other members of the board are a two-year term. So just differentiating the, the length of, of your service if you're interested in being on the board. Uh, there's more information here on the website about board nominations. If you have questions, 
reach out to any one of us on the executive committee. We would love to, to talk to you about what that means. It's a great opportunity for leadership. Uh, we build in a lot of things, but we also have at-large members. We have PE, we have general, we have dance, we have health, lots of opportunities to serve. And then we have to have other committees like Health Moves Minds and advocacy and things like that. So lots of opportunities with the board. If you're interested, here's where you submit uh, the information. Uh, there's the commitment we just mentioned. Uh, you select which position you're interested in, enter your name, and then we will uh, get back with you on uh, that criteria. And then there'll be a vote uh, that will take place in conjunction with the fall event. So uh, we would love to, to talk to you more about what that looks like. If you have questions, please reach out. You can always use KentuckyShape at gmail.com. So check mark one, board nominations. That's where you find it. There's the link on the website underneath board. The next thing we're going to talk about is the annual awards. So if you look at our fall convention, uh, we, when you hit the drop down here, so if you hit programs and events, annual fall convention and then you see some different drop downs so previous past award winners i think this one probably needs to be updated but it was updated a year or two ago but i think since pandemic we probably need to put the, the more recent winners on there but uh let's talk about the annual awards first and then we'll go into the teacher of the year process so underneath annual awards these are all the things that are given annually by the association starting with the uh WH, the William Mustaine Award. That is our highest honor uh, that we bestow upon members. Uh, generally, these are long serving members. They have been previously recognized by the organization. You normally served in a high level capacity uh, for the organization. So the Mustaine Award, uh, named after our first president, uh, William Mustaine, a uh, big one of the first coaches at the University of Kentucky, but also helped to start the original Kentucky Health and PE organization. Uh, we also give a Life Member Award uh, for uh, beyond years of service. Uh, generally, uh, maybe somebody that's retired or in the process of retiring uh, and distinguished service to the profession. We also have current distinguished service awards. So just in recognition of uh, service over extended number of years. We have our merit award, and then we have some other nominations and things that come from that. So not all awards are awarded each year. And uh, so that process uh, is down here below. So you can literally, uh, and it's a pretty simple process for all the Kentucky Shape Awards. So if you have uh, other organizations or community organizations that are working to increase health and wellness, certainly uh, we want to lift up the great things happening across Kentucky uh, related to health and wellness in schools and in communities as well. So uh, here at the bottom, uh, you see the different criteria uh, for those. Plus, we always honor uh, University College Professor of the Year. And then we also honor a future professional student of the year. So health ed and physical education student of the year. Nominee information goes here. And then there, all you got to do is really just, uh, just do a justification. And so you can attach that in a PDF or a Word format. Uh, but just simply attach that there to your nomination for, for whichever award you would like to make a nomination for. So very simple, easy process on the annual awards. Uh, if you have questions, again, KentuckyShape at gmail.com. And then the last check mark two there, right? Kentucky Shape Awards. And then the third one uh, that we're going to talk about tonight is a little lengthier of a process and that is our Teacher of the Year. We've made significant changes to our Teacher of the Year program uh, from a few years ago, and uh, it, 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 there, is, there is a little more backloading in the process. So we'll take you through that, and then we'll also show and explore some other links as well because of, of the length of this process. This is the reason we're having this tonight. If you're interested or know someone that's interested in Teacher of the Year, do the nomination really, really soon because they have to have the, the application in by October 1st still. So nomination and applications are all due October 1st. And so you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second with that. So we'll go back to program events, annual fall convention, and then we'll come across to teacher of the year. Big shout out to uh, Open Phys Ed and U.S. Games. 
I think we're in our fourth year, maybe, of uh, their sponsorship of our Teacher of the Year program. So for all six categories uh, that we have for Teacher of the Year, adaptive physical education, elementary, middle, and high school physical education, health education, and dance education. For those that are chosen as the Teacher of the Year, this is an extremely competitive process. We have some of the best of the best teachers that went on and one district and national, and we'll, we'll walk you through that process in just a second, but it is extremely competitive. So these to be named the Kentucky Shape Teacher of the Year, you're competing against the best of the best from across Kentucky. But as a part of this sponsorship with U.S. Games and Open, every Teacher of the Year will receive uh, a Kentucky Shape U.S. Games quarter zip pullover. They'll also receive a rec recognition banner for their school. And they also receive a $200 gift card from U.S. Games. So pretty cool things that uh, are a part of that sponsorship. So again, shout out to, to Open the U.S. Games for that. So the process is the, the, the end, the, the front end is very simple. You can nominate, principals can nominate teachers in the building. You can nominate people in your district. You can nominate colleagues that you think. Anybody can nominate. The nomination form is very, very simple. Name, which award their email, their school district, and their school. That's it. That's how you nominate. They, but and of course, they got to meet the other criteria as far as being a member and being in the organization. Then we will send uh, that person a, a congratulatory thing after the review committee looks at it. And if they meet the criteria, they will then get uh, an email stating the next part of the application. So this is where it gets a, a little more tricky uh, into what it looks like to be a teacher of the year. This is the part we've changed. It used to be just a, similar to other, other awards, but to be more competitive, uh, we wanted to, to strengthen the process. And if teachers of the year are doing best practices aligned to state and national standards, and so in order to do that, we now use the Shape America application system. And so what this allows our teachers of the year to do is start the process early because when you're named one of these six areas of the teacher of the year, you then are also eligible for the next three years to be considered a district teacher of the year. So Southern District, Kentucky is a part of Southern District for Shape America. That's 13 other states. So then you're competing against the 13 best teachers across Southern District. So we've had a number of successful teachers of the year go on to be Southern District teachers of the year. Angela Stark, Joe Geddes, uh, Jessica Napier, just to name a few, that just all in recent years, uh, Lydia Austin. Uh, so very successful teachers, district teachers of the year that have come through the Kentucky Shape Teacher of the Year program. And you learn a lot by doing this. So while this longer application is, 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 is tougher, more stringent, uh, it also prepares teachers for that next step. Because if you win the, the state level, then you've already got experience with that longer uh, application and what it's looking for. So uh, let's take a look at that just so there's some familiarity. And I know there's a number of people tonight that have been nominated uh, that we wanted to, to walk you through that process just a little bit. Um, from that, uh, let's, let's look at... Let me turn off this for just a second and get the right link up uh, for us to then look at the Teacher of the Year. Oh, let me put it down here on this screen. Sorry, I'm not using a split screen here. All right, share screen. So uh, teachers of the year will get nominees, sorry, nominees will get this link to the main landing page for Shape America. So this is uh, the Shape America Teacher of the Year application process. Um, their application deadline for districts, so if you see a deadline on here that's later in October, that's because the district application is a little bit later. Our state applications are due October 1st. Everything we have that we talked about tonight is due October 1st. So as you scroll down through here, uh, you can look at the, the some of this is eligibility for the district and national. Okay. 
And so in order to be, if, if you're you know, thinking down the road, you can go ahead and look at the criteria. Our criteria is, is not exactly the same at the state level, but very similar in a lot of areas. So if you see some of these things uh, that you think may not apply, this is for when you're looking at the district application. So you're going to scroll down. And then their award criteria is down below. Their scoring rubrics they use at the district level. Again, this is all for the district app. But there is a spot, a spot down here where you can download the application. So if you click this offline application, you want to do that because now you've got a, a Microsoft Word document that you can pull up. And this is everything you're going to have to fill in for your application to upload it. Okay. So here's your, your application. That, and all the information that has to be entered. And there's a check sheet that you'll see in just a second. Uh, I actually apologize. The Word document open, but you're not seeing the Word document. Because I'm in only the browser share. But you'll get that download uh, from... Sorry, I'm just trying to get back to the browser we were on. Give it just a second. So... I see it on my screen, but I can't find the right browser. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So the state application. So after you download, you click the offline application. You can download the Word version so you can start working on it, filling it in, all the information you need. And then the state application is where you're going to go to upload that information. So here you practice going through that. So for the, to apply at the state level, you get your nomination. You and then in order to be considered a teacher of the year for Kentucky Shape, this is what you fill in. So you go through your your information, name, title, email, all required information. You see that by the the red stars. Just so you can kind of see this. Step by step, we'll go ahead and fill it in just so you can see all the information that's required. Which country you pick? Because I'm back to the United States of top. Yep. Wrong job down. Enter in all of our information here. So all just basic logistic information. Get it correct. And then there's four pages you're going to go through. Now you're going to go to uh, it. Ask it's just making sure that we are the state. So I needed to do the state. That's why I left that part out. So Kentucky, and that's what makes sure the application comes to to us. So you went in, you clicked in the state, and then you click state at the top, and then hit Kentucky in the drop down. Oh. See, it's a it's a smart form because it knows that I was not telling it the truth. Well, that is the actual address, but for the sake of this, I was trying to do it quickly. All right, next page. All right, and so then uh, you're going to select your degree level: bachelor's, master's, doctorate. And then uh, that for adaptive PE, uh, if you're CAPE certified, then there's information there. Uh, elementary PE, where you teach at. Uh, when you hit your degree, Northern State. Health. No, I'm not keep certified. Maybe 
dates. And then uh, here's where you start to kind of enter in your information as far as any other awards in your school district from Kentucky Shape, uh, other things that you've done, activities that you've done uh, professionally in your community, coaching, other professional affiliations that you may have. Uh, if you have things in the field, things that you've done within your classroom, uh, school health moves minds, other fundraisers, things related to specifically that you want us to consider as a part of your award criteria in your school. And then the last part of the form, this is why it's important to download that Microsoft Word version and knowing what you're submitting because you do have to submit a teaching assignment form. That was a download that was on the application. We, in order to be a teacher of the year, you had to be a current teacher. So that's just a simple form that you get from your school uh, that your principal or somebody can sign off on saying you're currently you know, teaching in this capacity at the school, just very simple uh, form there. Uh, you do need to submit uh, a letter or a headshot. So that is a picture. Uh, so a professional picture that you'll be attaching to your application. Uh, you have up to three letters of recommendation uh, that you can include in your letter, uh, specifically around, obviously, like telling us more about uh, why you should be considered. And then the award criteria was another document that was there. And then you hit uh, submit. So if you have other things to submit there. So that's what it looks like uh, from the application perspective uh, for the state teacher of the year. Again, we'll back back out just to see the main landing page. You'll get this in a link. So anybody that's nominated, if you nominate somebody, they get this link. Again, remember, you're on Shape America site now. This is not our deadline. Our deadline is October 1st. So the main part you're focused on here, because we're running our state application through the district page, this is the offline application and then the state application. Okay. So if you have questions, reach out to us, KentuckyShape at gmail.com. Last thing we'll add to this webinar tonight, of course, is let's drop back over to our web page and remind you, in addition to registration coming up, we do have underneath programs and events. If you've not put it on your calendar yet, uh, there's a link here for uh, information on kindness across the Commonwealth. Uh, that is November uh, 12th, number, November 7th through the 13th all together. And so you can kind of click here for information on kindness across the Commonwealth. And here's how you register. Absolutely free. Uh, resources. Every day has a theme. Uh, that's a great thing to put on your application. You've been involved in Health Moves Minds. You've done a fundraiser. You've done the kindness across the Commonwealth. All of those things will help elevate what you're doing. You've done fuel to play 60. Lots of things you can put on there as far as a quality health and PE program, uh, continue to build. Even if you are not went through the process yet or been, not been nominated, get familiar with the process because uh, you really, they judge you based on teaching national standards, teach, uh, based on teaching state standards. So we've got some great folks out there that would love to connect with you and help you through the process. Uh, so again, uh, if you have questions, we'll, we'll last close while since I've done StreamYard, so I'm trying to remember. Uh, everything, all that email is on the website. KentuckyShape at gmail.com. So um, we'll stream this over. This will be uh, archived on YouTube. Uh, for those uh, that are looking for PD, uh, PD certificate, then you use that email there, Kentucky Shape at Gmail, and we'll give a half hour credit for PD uh, for this uh, webinar tonight. So uh, that's taking us up towards the bottom of the hour. So uh, thanks, everybody, for the opportunity to, to share more uh, board nominations, October 1st deadline, Kentucky Shape Awards, October 1st deadline and teacher of the year. So uh, look forward to seeing uh, all the great worthy uh, candidates being considered uh, as we lead into our fall event, November 13th through the 14th uh, in Berea. Thanks everybody and have a good night.